Dix, and I have a new cool tool to show you. Now, I've done a review of this um, Gretsch resonator before, quite a while ago, I think 2012. I'm going to do another one, a kind of an update on it. Uh, but this is not the cool tool I'm talking about. This one is, I love cheap, cool tools. Uh, this is basically a string lifter. You can see this, it's very simple. This is a piece of metal. You probably make something in shop. I made something very similar to this in shop class that was supposed to be uh, a paper holder for a desk. And I just bent metal, and that's basically what it is. Uh, but what it is is a string lifter, so you can turn a fretted instrument into a slide instrument. Uh, not that you can't play slide on a fretted instrument, but what I'm going to do with this, um, this is a round neck <clears throat> resonator, so you can be played like a guitar, just like I was playing it. And I have it in standard tuning. <laughs> standard tuning, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the strings. Now, I don't need to take them off. I'm going to slide this under, under the strings like this, um, and you can see it's wide enough for this neck. It could, it's a little beyond this neck, so that's good if I want to put it on a wider neck instrument. And then, uh, so I'm going to put it on this and then show it to you what it does, and then I am going to do it on my uh, Loudon acoustic as well, so you can see it on, on an acoustic instrument. Uh, so I'm going to just loosen the strings. And fast forward so uh, you won't have to watch me do this for the next two minutes. Okay, so the strings are still on. You can hear how floppy they are. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to slide it under the strings here. And I'm putting the long side on the uh, behind the nut. Now, one of the things about this, and one of the complaints about this particular one, and I'm going to put a link to it in, uh, on the page, uh, an Amazon link so you can pick one up. I think they're 10 bucks. You can't beat it. So you're basically saving hundreds of dollars not having to buy another instrument. Um, but it changes fast enough that I can actually go back and forth in the studio and not really have to worry too much about it. So I'm just lifting each string, shoving it a little bit further, lift the string up. Shove it a little further. Now the grooves are a little shallow, so if you're going to be strumming it really hard, it might be a problem. Uh, they might pop out, particularly the lower strings might pop out. Now, I basically got it lined up. Because you're using slide, it doesn't really necessarily need to be in perfect alignment with the nut. Okay, can you see? I don't know if you can see that, but um, because you're playing slide, you'll make adjustments to the tone and the pitch here. Um, okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna fast forward again. I'm gonna cut to. I'm gonna tune this up now. I'm gonna tune it to open G. Now tune the big open G, which is D, G, D, G, B, and D. And you can see now how high the strings are off of the fretboard. So now you you could technically push it down, but that's not why we did it. Instant, instant dobro from a, from a resonator guitar. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video in a second, but I'm going to take this my my loud, which kind of a you know it's it's got a mahogany body, uh, you know, kind of res uh, reminiscent, kind of reminiscent a little bit of a Weizenborn, um, and this way I'm going to put I'm going to put that on here. And, um, and I'll show you what it sounds like with this. And so you can take an acoustic guitar and turn it into kind of a Weizenborn thing. Okay, back in a second. Okay, so now I've done the same thing that I did to the Gretsch resonator. I've done to my loud and acoustic. And again, you can see the strings are really high, uh, which makes it a lot easier to play slide on your lap. It's cool, it's kind of, you know, it's a way to uh, 
another instrument out of one of your guitars. Now, I don't necessarily, I wouldn't keep it like this. It might not be the best um, thing for, the, for, for my lab to leave it like this. Um, I don't see any harm in doing it. The tension doesn't seem to be any stronger, especially since I, che I tuned to open G on this. So I've got three of the uh, six strings are tuned down a whole step. So that brings the tension down a little bit. But it's great be able to have, you know, for a kind of a blues acoustic kind of vibe. So there you go, the uh, cool tool, which is the string lifter for um, acoustic instruments too. And you can use it on electric too. Hey, maybe I'll do that another time. I'll take one of my electrics and put it on that way so I can have a, I should buy some more of these so I can have a couple of my electrics permanently like that. Anyway, God bless you, I'll talk to you soon and I hope you're doing well. Thank you, thanks for watching.